On Cue's Vision 2020 segment is brought to you by Hormel Foundation, Games People Play, and Turtle Creek Estates. And welcome back. Time now for our Vision 2020 segment. And joining us is our friend John Gray from the Gateways to Austin Committee. Welcome back, John. <laughs> Thank you. And there are a lot of gateways uh, to talk about. The I-90 corridor is certainly one of the big projects you're focused on. What's happening right. with that? Yeah, that's one of the three uh, aspects of Gateway to Austin. Basically, we've been working a year and a half with MnDOT finalizing a visual quality manual, which is a permanent file uh, with MnDOT on the architectural design of the bridges, the landscaping uh, design for the whole I-90 corridor, which is our front yard. So that, that's being developed, but because it's on MnDOT property, they are totally responsible for it. So we've had community members working with them to develop this plan. So the, uh, basically, I guess what I'd point out right now, the one thing that we're currently active with is that our committee is working with contractors right now on developing a design for a welcome to Austin sign, a major signage that'll be west of Austin on the I-90 corridor uh, coming around that loop coming in uh, from the west. Okay. And then the same signage will be on the eastern side of Austin right outside where that country club exit is coming into Austin. So we're working with contractors now on major welcome to Austin signage that complements the design work of the bridges. Oh, that's so neat. Getting, so we're, I like what you called that. it the front yard, that the gateway yeah. is kind of, or the corridor is kind of the front yard of Austin. I yep. like that. Well, that has been our sort of our, um, I don't <laughs> motto, if you will. Sure. That it really is. It's the first thing our visitors see in Austin is that I-90 corridor, and what they see is their first image of Austin. And then along with that, along that corridor, the visitor center uh, concept. Correct, that's the second phase of this gateway, well not phase, second aspect of gateway to Austin is creation of a visitor center. Uh, that's been in the works about the same time frame, about a year and a half. Uh, we've reached out to various organizations, including the community. We've had a couple of sessions where the community come in and give us their input of what they would see as viable in a visitor center. So we've put together the programming of what we'd like to see in the visitor center and outside. So that whole um, area, we're, we figure we're gonna need about three acres of land. And the two primary uh, aspects of the visitor center, two key elements is visibility and accessibility. So wherever we put this visitor center, we want our, our the people on the I-90 corridor to see it and then be able to get to it. And right now our preferred site is the right behind the current high V location. So there's approximately three acres back there, right oh. against the I-90 corridor, mm -hmm. um, where no matter where you're going east or west, people can see that visitor oh, yeah. center from the interstate. And no matter which direction, they can get off then at 4th or 14th, so okay. and circle around and get back to it. So um, again, that's our preferred site, but with things going on with the Oak Park Mall, over the winter here, yeah, which hasn't little, gone anywhere. That it's just a small issue, you know. That yeah, small issue. Thing. Yeah. yeah. So and we're then, so we're on hold. And then, but but to that end too, about people finding it, directional signs, which is a bugaboo of mine when you go to a town and you, you yeah, know, there's one sign and then you and you can't find. There's no follow-up signs. Sure. So that that is the third aspect of Gateway to Austin, and that committee's been active, very active over the winter months, developing. Um, where are, what attractions would our tourists like to see in Austin? And then um, we've got, we've already, um, we, that committee has already created a design for the signage, which has gotten real good approval from anyone that's been shared to, including some of our city officials. And now what they're working on is the placement of that signage. So strategically, when people come off that I-90 corridor, so then right away directing them to, well, downtown would be a major one. So it's sort of in two phases, down, directing people to downtown and then other um, attractions within the community, whether it be the Nature Center, the Historical Society, Westcott Field, wherever. And then phase two would be additional signage downtown directing them to various uh, locations or attractions like the Hormel Historic Home, Paramount Theater. So there's a, there's a lot of things 
that Austin has to offer, we need to direct them once they get off the interstate to those various areas. It's exciting, so John. It's Thank more you. work than what you would think. You, it is, <laughs> and especially all those signs, you know, all of them say all roads lead to KSMQ. So you have to fit that on all those signs, you know, right? That every sign. If, every you, if you can convince us you're an attraction. <laughs> yeah, really. Thanks, John, very much. You John bet. Gray. And uh, that'll do it for us this time around. Thanks for joining us on Q. Queue up your own comments for On Cue and send them to us at onqueue at ksmq.org. On Cue is a production of KSMQ Television in Austin, nonprofit public television. Thank you.